Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you can take a person, throw them into an electrified mouse wheel, turn on the electricity, and slowly melt them into a small pile of human goo. It's Mutilated Doll 2. Mutilated Doll 2 is one of those games that uh, started out really simple, but now there's like, oh, you know, 10 billion different ways to destroy lives in it. It's basically like a digital stress ball. Hey, let me show you. So you got Kyle over here, right? What you can do is you can just kind of slowly make him dance a jig into this little chamber here. It kind of looks like a, like a bagel. There we go. That closes on him. And before you know it, He's turned into pepperoni. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, well, sure, Gray, but what happens if Kyle brings a brother along? Oh, I think I spawned him inside of the floor. Oh, uh, all right. So Kyle's missing his shins, but that's all right. He's just slightly shorter now. And this is his brother, Hunter. Now I think that they've been genetically fused due to the spawning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them oh, both inside of here and this should still work. Oh yeah, perfect. Now, unfortunately, the amount of energy that was utilized wasn't enough to completely liquefy both bodies. That's right, we could just activate this as much as we want. <laughs> Mutilated Doll 2 is one of those games where you can take any single part of the things that you use to turn people's lives into a living hell and modify every single part of it. See this Tesla coil? Settings, temperature, 98 degrees, rookie numbers. You know what this needs? A one. And more zeros. I think once your internal organs are turned into a Lunchable, it kind of doesn't really matter how hot the thing is that's burning you alive. I'm just a person who loves excess. I want to find something in the game and I want to make it really excessive. Obviously, this seems like a very simple scene here. We're in a kitchen. Nothing in this game is as it seems. Everything is designed specifically to kill you. They may say to yourself, well, great, all you have to do is go over here. You can cook this egg. Little do you know, though, that you can also cook a human being on this stove. Like this knife here. That was okay, but can we make it stupider? All right, let's see, you take your knife, you go to settings, scale, huh? You may notice that this knife is currently glowing. There's a reason why. <laughs> That's right, what you didn't know is our chef is highly allergic to knives. One of the items you can make a knife is ultra sharp. Oh, what was it before? It's like getting bludgeoned by a spoon? A highly explosive spoon. So now that this, uh, this knife is super sharp. I'm just curious how many people it can cut. This damn oven's getting in the way. It keeps setting people on fire. No, oh, God damn it. The knife is still explosive as well. Now this mushroom is shooting poison globes everywhere. It's eating people's flesh. Now things turned kind of, kind of insane here quickly on this scene. Did any of you guys see a highly explosive knife anywhere? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. Hopefully without setting anyone on fire. Don't put your hand on that goddamn... Really? Okay, apparently I have to do this before he burns himself alive. Okay, ultra sharp, go. Wow, it's actually so sharp that it cut part of the counter. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, it's pretty sharp. Let me just kind of, uh, yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, if I get a little bit of momentum, don't mind me, I'm just making julienne fries. This is the spawning area. This is where you can find damn near anything. Saw. Oh. So you can change the scale of anything in the game, can you? Just testing out the gigantic circular saw. The only problem I have is it doesn't actually spin. There has to be a way to make these things spin somehow. A few seconds later. I told you there would be a way to make these things spin. This may look very dangerous, but it's actually not. See, this guy's going into the witness protection program, so we have to change the way he looks a little bit. This is a three-step program. So you got step one, step two, and then step three. See that? Can't even recognize it. Just, just real quick. I just, I just have to do this because I want to see if I can make the spinning blades get stuck by throwing enough bodies at the problem. Thing's got some horsepower on it. Oh, oh, there we go. Now we're starting to get it stuck. Or I might just be crashing the game. <laughs> I can't tell you at this point how many legs have been severed for me to 
test this theory out. I'm putting the kids over at Levi Blue Jeans through college at this point. No one has to worry about skipping leg day anymore because no one's gonna have any legs. Some guy just spawned outside of this little container that I've created. The one thing I loved about it is that it seems that the volume stays the same so it just compacts everything inside of it more and more and that's how hamburgers are made oh god i i actually i actually can't stop it i can't pause it okay what the hell is a jet spike all right do, do me a favor kyle just just stand in front of that door right there i need to try something all right so you line this up like this then you activate it wow okay not very accurate all right just 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 stand there. Don't. Yeah, right like that. Okay, hold on. Pick, pick yourself up a little bit. It's kind of aiming toward your knee. I, I want it closer to the groin. Clo yeah, yep, yep. Good. There we go. Okay, fire. <laughs> All that was left was a small bloody mist that fell to the ground. He actually never came back down. Okay, I, I, just, I just need to try something real quick. All right, yeah, just lay down on top of this like that perfect yeah right like there pause everything activate all of these at once and then uh put it in slow motion it's like a it's like a bunch of murder hornets just because i can see now i can't miss all right do me a favor just ride it just just like just like perfect there you go okay fire Oh, it's just stuck in the wall. It still works pretty good, though. Oh, yeah, it works fine. It's like some sort of evil, malicious adult product. The vibration power is so incredible, it disintegrates human flesh. Unleash destructive powers. Really? Animate. Uh, all right, bye. Bees? Bees? Projectiles. All of them. It is. It's just flesh-eating bees. Face plant causes dolls to face plant violently. Effect force. Yes. Okay. So define violently. <laughs> All right. It's fairly violent. Something very interesting about the face plant. If there's no face, it doesn't work anymore. You have to have a face to plant. I guess it was only a matter of time, but now I can spawn 2,000 mile an hour wind. Here, watch. Go. <laughs> I think the worst part about that death is he's gonna get tetanus because I think he ripped both of his legs off on this old can. I have to do that again just to make sure that's exactly what happened. You gotta slow things down for this. Yep. So if I put one guy over here, the one guy over here, and I activate wind here and here, will they fly at each other at 1,000 miles an hour each? Survey says... Yes. Imagine this, you're shooting some bee ball over in the prison yard, when all of a sudden, you miss your shot. Previously, the penalty for missing a free throw was ridicule, but now, it's a trip to the goddamn wood chipper. See, what you do is you grab your wood chipper here, all right, put it on the ground. Now, I like my wood chippers to be slightly larger. There we go. Grab your disrespectful basketball player. Oh, hold on, hold on, before, before we start this, let me just, Bring this guy right over here. Nothing like showering in another man's red blood cells. There we go. Might actually need a little bit more here. Gotta get extra clean, that's it. Yeah, ride each other into the wood chipper, perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, if you get the speed right, this thing eats people super fast. I can't be the only person that wondered if you could fill up a giant cocktail glass with the blood of the people that you put into the chipper. Listen, this is for science, okay? I'm just curious. Sadly, it looks like you cannot. That's very depressing. Damn it, if this doesn't work, how am I gonna make my strawberry? daiquiris. I'm not going to be satisfied until I can crash something into a bunch of people at an incredibly high speed. So there's a train over here, but it doesn't move. See, this is its normal size. Not good enough. And take it and we're going to go ahead and pump that up. Give it a little train Viagra. There we go. All right, so now we just need a way to make this thing go. Jet engine seems appropriate. Grab this, go ahead and just weld it on there. There we go, that's hot. Actually, you know what, let's, um, I'm just gonna give it like 30 of these. Yeah, just go ahead and clone that like 400 times. Perfect. You know what, I'm just gonna fill up this whole train with engines. All right, weld everything to the train. In retrospect, I probably should have cloned this with the trigger already on. Okay, so if my calculations are correct, when I uh, unpause this, this gigantic rocket-powered train of penetrative death 
should completely destroy our guy over here. Actually, you know what? I might as well make some more. All right, let's go ahead and uh, bring this on in slow motion over here just to see if it works. Oh, God. <laughs> It's not the fastest thing in the universe, but it has the horsepower to just plow through like a hundred dolls. <laughs> Say hello to the death train. Oh God, it's starting to fly on its own now. <laughs> a couple of the jet engines have let go of the train and they're just flying on their own. The jet engines crave blood. Actually, knowing that we can create our own jet engines, hold on here. Uh, grab your saw blade, increase the size. All right, now it should spin freely. Nice. Okay, the jet spike is definitely the way to get things spinning. Okay, so all we need is like, uh, you know, another hundred of these jet spikes. Okay. I think I may have put a little bit too much power into it. I think the thing that really scares me about what I had just made is that pin was supposed to be unbreakable because it was set at zero. I think I may have broken some sort of speed barrier because it went so fast that it decided to leave its space and then destroy the person next to it. Okay, just real quick, I need to know if I can make something even stupider. I want to know if I can attach a bunch of assault rifles to the spinning saw blade and have them cut through everything with their bullets as they spin in a circle. Why? America, damn it. All right, you get your saw blade here. All right, grab a couple of assault rifles. I think the hardest part about this is having to rotate each one. Uh, okay, yeah, that looks safe. <laughs> all right, just kind of put all these on the button here. Think of it like a, um, like a carousel made of AK-47s. All right, let's try this. Excellent. All right, now I just have to get it to spin fast. Interestingly, just because of the firing of the bullets, it's actually spinning from that alone. If you go in super slow motion, you can see all of the bullets fire. Okay, sweet. My gun marigold round finally works. All right, all right, all right. Ch chill out, chill out. Is there a shotgun in here? The hell's an arc shotgun? I see. Okay, now that I know how to actually connect things to a button that will continuously press them until the end of time as fast as possible, I've got another idea. All right, so what you do is you grab your shotgun here. You know, the combat one is fine. Let's see how that shoots. Yep, looks like it hurts. All right, so you grab a gigantic cluster of these and you clone them, put them right about there. Grab everything again, clone it, put it, I don't know, over here. <laughs> okay, so I've made all of the shotguns ghosts so that their bullets don't actually harm themselves. Now we grab all these clone them. Excellent. Now I've synced them all up with one another. Okay, so I'm just curious. How long can a ragdoll survive this? All right, ready? And go. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't even know if any of his body parts will hit the ground. All right, here we go. You know what? If you throw enough bodies in front of it, even the wall of shotgun pellets can be stopped. And now to take a tornado with a 200% effect force and a 200 times radius and clean all this up. Oh my God, my computer does not like that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I just made a meatball out of the people that were left. Even the shotgun pellets get grabbed up by the giant tornado winds. All right, now that we're down to about uh, point one FPS, I think that that can be considered a success. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Mutilated Doll 2. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.